All the pieces in place on a Sunday night from Iowa City. Drake and Iowa off and rolling with the Hawkeyes controlling the tip and right to the rim with Molly Davis. Dinabir into the paint, kicks it out. And the three-point shooting for Drake has been really good, but no hit from McCauley here. And Clark going one-on-one -on, -one on the cross. Oh, beautiful. Clark off the ball screen, knocks it down from the mid-range. Great decision, kind of a drop coverage there off the ball screen, so rather than go into the post player, she finds that sweet spot and pulls up. And Bird lost the handle. Here comes Clark, no numbers for Iowa yet. Late arriving, drive and kick, Davis three. Knocks it down! That is a great sign for Drake. Miller has struggled from the floor to begin this season. Her first outside hit. Drive and kick. And that goes down. Well, back to the rim. Dinabir can't hit. A 13-3 run for Iowa. Continues with a Clark three. Well, Iowa could have held for one, but why would you? Kate Martin splashes one down. Kate Martin was... Ofer on the season from three coming into this game. And 0 for 8 to begin the season. So she drains one. Now five on the clock. Martin energized by that three. Two on the clock. Davis at the horn, and that counts. And this was a game that Elisa Bluter, the head coach for Iowa, figured that Stokey would be on the floor a lot like usual. 6.6 .6 rebounds from McCauley coming off her career high. 27 points in the win against Iowa State. Hands there. Martin fought through it. And Iowa fighting on the glass with an and one. Exciting to watch. One of the one of the most aggressive point guards I've seen can really get after it on the defensive end. And that goes down for Taylor McCabe off the bench for the Hawkeyes. And the takeaway, another turnover. Iowa can go over their total from Thursday night on this trip. And McCabe does. One of the few times tonight, Iowa slowed it down in the half court. Clark probing off one foot. It's Pierre. And Clark was thinking about the logo. And scoops it in at the horn. Clark said that this loss on Thursday would not break us. And Caitlin Clark in this game, baseline out for the Bulldogs. And Drake, the reigning Missouri Valley Conference tournament champs, with five in a row to start the second half. Grace Berg with the outside hit. And that was a situation where you forget about the inbounder. Iowa was playing nobody on the ball, and they didn't locate Berg, who passed it in and relocated to the corner. Davis drops in a tray. Molly Davis has looked smooth. She had some big shots towards the end of that Kansas State loss. And we talked to her about her patented headband today. It's a staple. Uh, her, her dad is here from Michigan. Inside for another finish for Grace Berg. This has been an impressive start out of the locker room for Drake. Uh, didn't get back on Kate Martin. Yeah, it jinxed him a little bit there. Get a blown coverage over there. Obviously a sizable lead, but some easy buckets for Drake to start the second half. And a turnover from Martin. And Drake looks to push again. Bird kicks it out. Dinabir rolls around the three. And so in what's been a high possession game, Drake has it to 16 points. Well, Marshall passes on the three. Out for Clark. Money. Get to show off something at our next dead ball. Oh gosh, yeah, this is a, a first. Something was just delivered to us at the table. Kate Martin continues to have a good offensive night. You have to eat it as you go. I mean, it's going to melt if you don't. One of the best concession items in the Big Ten and maybe in the country. Because that counts for McCauley. And she'll go to the free throw line for one more. You know, both Lisa Bluter and Caitlin Clark, when we talked today, were very. Not not super critical of themselves, but holding themselves accountable that it's on them 
those two specifically to get Iowa back to where they're used to playing, and they have. And Caitlin Clark also took that accountability. She said, as, as the point guard, as a leader for this team, I need to find ways to get my teammates more involved, to put them in opportune situations. Oh, strokes in another one, Caitlin Clark. And it, it seems to me, Connor, she's just really let this game come to her. She's relaxed, she's scored in different ways, she's gotten involved in passing, and that was just a smooth-looking Jay. And the answer back for Anna Brown. And nine in the clock, and through the back door, that's tipped. Sharon Goodman with hands on it. And Clark looking for runners with her, and she finds Goodman streaking to the rim. How pretty is that? When Drake came out of the gate hot, it was basket for basket in the opening five minutes. And then Iowa stayed hot, shooting 75% most of that first quarter, and that goes through. Outside hit for Fornshell. Nine of ten from the floor for Kate Martin. And another curl, Lisa Bluter this afternoon about who are some other pieces that are needing to step up, and she said Kate Martin, can she do it again? Kate Martin is on fire right now. Make it 10 of 12 from the floor, her third three of the night. But Lisa Bluter told us that this summer, Kate Martin looked like a pro. She said, wow, we're seeing that Kate Martin tonight here in Carver Hawkeye. Yeah. Yeah. Big eye-wide statement from Lisa Bluter today. Martin has come out here tonight shooting by Caitlin Clark. Ooh. There's a hundred for Iowa. Event as well. That's at least her seventh steal tonight. Just getting out in the passing lanes. Oh, nice pass from Berg. We found Dinabier on the back end for Drake. Clark wants more. She's got more. Come on now. She was styling back that she still is. But wow, loving the fits. So when we look back at pictures maybe when she goes into another Hall of Fame. Uh, Fierbach almost had the turnover. Shot clock doesn't reset. And that three is all net for Hawthorne. Yeah, this Bulldog team can really shoot it. Maybe not as well as they typically do. They have eight threes on the night. And Jim Fee in the book, scoring for the Hawkeyes. Tough bounce back night. A loose Iowa team, all smiles after 113 on the board.